Welcome to another instructional video from OWL, the wise choice in fiber optic test equipment. I'm Professor Jim Powers. The concept of patch cables comes up a lot in technical support inquiries. Now, this is a valid question, since you need the right patch cables to do your job properly. Now, one thing we've realized over the years is that many fiber technicians started out certifying CAT5 cabling, and those CAT5 testers did require special test cables. So the assumption is made that fiber testers are the same way. They require special cables. But this is not so with fiber optics. There's nothing special about these cables. The cables you use for testing might be the same cables you use to connect your routers and switches into the network, which is actually quite convenient. If the patch cables happen to wear out during the job, you can simply go down to your local reseller and get replacement cables. And they're very inexpensive, not like Cat5 special cables. Now, this video won't cover any details about the basics of patch cables, but it will help you understand how to choose the right patch cables for your particular job. And the process is not complicated, as you will see. Now, before we begin, it's helpful to have the units in your test kit in front of you, so you'll have a power meter and one or more light sources. And alongside the power meter, make sure that you have both of the universal adapters. There's a 2.5 millimeter adapter and a 1.25 millimeter adapter. In fiber optics, there are three ways a fiber link can be installed based on whether or not patch panels are installed. Properly designed networks have patch panels installed on both ends, but there are times when a link may have a patch panel on only one end, with the other end being an open connector, or there may be no patch panels at all, what is typically referred to as home run cabling. Understanding link configurations is important in determining what patch cables are appropriate for the job. Also understand that patch cables must be the same fiber type and core size of the link under test to avoid core size mismatch errors. Let's start with the most common configuration first, patch panels on both ends. This configuration will require two patch cables, one for the light source side and one for the power meter side. First, look at the patch panels to determine which universal adapter to install on the power meter detector port. If the patch panels are SC, ST, or FC, install the 2.5 mm cap. If the patch panels are LC, install the 1.25 mm cap. Now, simply look at the light source port, the power meter detector port, and the patch panel ports to determine the appropriate patch cable configurations. For links that have only one patch panel, only one test cable is required. First, look at the end with the open connector. This is where the power meter detector port connects. If the connector is SC, ST, or FC, install the 2.5 millimeter cap. If the connector is LC, install the 1.25 millimeter cap. Now, simply look at the light source port and the patch panel port to determine the appropriate patch cable configuration. For home run cabling, in other words, no patch panels at all, two test cables are required, as well as a mating sleeve, also known as an adapter, coupler, or bulkhead, that is used to connect the two cables together. First, look at the ends of the fiber link. The mating sleeve must match the connector types of the ends of the link. Next, determine which universal adapter to install on the power meter detector port based on the connector types of the ends of the link. If the connectors are SC, ST, or FC, install the 2.5 mm cap. If the connectors are LC, install the 1.25 mm cap. Now, simply look at the light source port, the power meter detector port, and the mating sleeve to determine the appropriate patch cable configurations. This has been another instructional video from OWL, the wise choice in fiber optic test equipment. For more instructional videos, or to learn more about OWL's products in general, please visit owl-inc.com. I'm Professor Jim Powers. Thanks for watching.